morning everyone and welcome to our garden of learning where children grow here good morning boys and girls good morning parents good morning teachers now today is Wednesday and Wednesday is the third day of the school week let's say that Wednesday is the third day of the school week now let's spell Wednesday capital W E D N E S D A Y Wednesday capital W E D N E S D A Y Wednesday how many days are there in the week there are seven days in one week now let's say the days of the week the days of the week are Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday and Saturday okay boys and girls and how many week, days of that week we come to school five days of that week the two other days are called weekend Saturday Saturday and Sundays are called weekend we come to school on Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday and Friday okay boys and girls and what month are we in let's answer in a nice sentence we are in the month of January let's say that we are in the month of January okay now let's talk about our value our value for this week is cooperation and when we talk about cooperation we are talking about working together we are talking about working together now let's sing our vowel let's go a e i o u a e i o u a e i o u a e i o u a e e o o a e e o o a e e o o a e e o o and how many vowels are there in the alphabet? There are five vowels in the alphabet. Okay, boys and girls? Yes. And this week, we are talking about letter C and letter K. Letter C and letter K. Okay, boys and girls? And what are some things that begin with letter C and letter K? Some things that begin with letter C and letter K are... This is a kangaroo. The K says K in a kangaroo. K in a kangaroo. This is a cat. The C says K in a cat. K, K, K. When we say cat, we hear in K, cat. We hear in the K song. Okay, boys and girls? Yes. And Let's move on. Sorry, we have that. We have a camera. We have a camera. Let's say the name of the picture. Camera. C says K in as camera. K in as camera. Okay, boys and girls. Now let's learn about a few more things that begin with letter C and letter K. Now, I made a mistake yesterday with the worksheet parents so this is week three worksheet and letter k i hope you can see that it says letter c and letter k makes the same sound and what is the song k, k, k. okay boys and girls yes so it says c says k in a scar and k says k in a stripe now we have two picture here Let's say the name of the picture, car and kettle, car and kettle, okay? And they both begin with the same sound, okay, boys and girls? It says match the picture to the correct letter. So here you have to match the picture to the correct letter. If you look carefully, you want to see letter C and letter K. You look for all the pictures that begin with C, you match it to C. All the pictures that begin with K, you match it to letter K, okay? And then you can do page two because I missed Monday and Tuesday. It says, say the name of each picture, listen for the k sound and color the pictures that begin with the k sound in a C. Okay? So we have here 
Cut. At. At. So you color the cat, then we have carrot. Okay, we are also hearing the k sound there. We have cow. So you color the cat, the carrot, and the cow. Okay, boys and girls? Yes. So now, before we go, we are going to sing the song about letter C. So let's sing the song. The C says k. The C says k. Every letter makes a song. The C says k. The K says k. The K says k. Every letter makes a song. The K says k. Now, we are going to also listen to our beautiful song about letter C and letter K. Okay, boys and girls. Consonants. The letters C and K. The letter C says k. The letter K says k. O and C and K join and play. They also say k. children like the leaf the seed the stem and the root okay yes so now today for a large group before we do before we do our little activity I'm going to ask you some questions now can you remember the name of that plant I told you yes on Monday that grows from its leaf yes the leaf of life Okay, boys and girls, so today, to just pretending to be a farmer. Let me see those of you who want to pretend to be a farmer or who, or who want to be a farmer when you grow up. Yes. So now, what we're going to do, we're going to experiment today for science. We are going to experiment. Okay, boys and girls, and we are going to do some planting. We are going to do some planting. So, I have one of gloves. Funny, the farmer have on a glove. And why do you think I'm wearing a glove? To protect my hands from infection or bites from insects or scrapes. Okay, boys and girls, it's very important to wear gloves. So now, here's what we're going to do. I have my tools, the shovel, the fork, and my water can here. These are some garden tools. Yes. So now, what we're going to do, the first thing we do, we're going to take out some soil and we're going to use the shovel to take out some soil. Put it in here. See that? So, teacher's using the shovel to take out the soil. Okay, boys and girls and parents, one day you can do this activity with your child. I'm sure they're going to enjoy doing this activity. Okay? So to get the child involved, you can do this activity at home with your child. 
and you can ask your child questions. So, I have some soil here. So finally, the farmer is taking out some soil. Put that there. Yes, now I'm going to use my rake to loosen the soil. Okay, like that. So let's loosen the soil. So now, yes. So do you want to guess what I'm going to plant today? I'm going to plant some. Let's put that back there. Yes. So now, I'm going to, before I plant, I'm going to water the soil. Okay? Let's just put some little bit of water here to get it moist. Yes. So now I have some seeds. I have some red seeds here. Red peas, you call it. See that? Yes, up there. See that? Yes. Okay, so now we're going to, we're going to dig the hole, the shovel, and we're going to plant the seeds. So boys and girls, so let's put three seeds in this hole. And we take the shovel, the fork, sorry. We put back the soil over the seed. Now we have the this is called a this is a callaloo stem. You see that? So it's long, so we're going to cut that. Now we have two pieces, and now we're going to plant the callaloo stem. So let's take another hole. The farmer plants the seed. Then we put that back. Right? Put that back there, cover it with some soil, Go like that, boys and girls. Now we have the, this is called, what you remember the name of this? This is called an edo, and edo grows from its root, you see the root there? So what we have to do, we just add some more soil. Soil for the edo. Let's put that in the corner here. And we're going to make some space, and we're going to put it down by it. Okay, the root is on the root is on this part, so we're going to put this part in the soil. Take a shovel and do that. Cover it with some soil. Okay, boys and girls. Put some more soil there. Okay. Yes. So we have the edo there and remember the edo goes from its root it goes from its root okay boys and girls now lastly what i have here this is called the leaf of life children this is the leaf of life you see that and it's a medicinal plant okay very good plant now this leaf of life goes from its from its leaf it grows from its leaf so now i'm just going to rest it here on top of the soil and then we're going to check it back tomorrow and then we're going to tomorrow's what Thursday and then we're going to check it back Friday and see what happens okay boys and girls so now today we plant the kalaloo yes the kalaloo stem we plant the kalaloo stem here we plant the edo yes so on Friday remember on Friday we're going to check to see if the roots Start to shoot out from the leaf of life. Okay, boys and girls. Yes. Um. So now what we're going to do? You tell the what she has to do. Cause I'm finished. Teacher, the farmer, <laughs> finish planting. Okay. Teacher, finally the farmer finish planting. Now I put away my tools. The corner there. Now you tell me what I have to do. I have to take off my gloves. Uh huh. So I take off my gloves. Toss it in the Okay, okay. Take the other one, and then I'm going to wash my hands, right? Okay, boys and girls, you see that? You wash your hands carefully. Take some soap. You wash your hands. Okay, because you don't want to get sick. Okay? It's very good to wash your hands clean and tidy after I'm doing plants. Okay? So, that's it. Yes. 
some parents, I hope you try this activity with your child at home over the weekend. Okay? It's very interesting. Okay, boys and girls, I hope that you enjoy this activity. Alright, so remember to ask mommy or daddy to to what? Yes. To help you do this activity at home. Okay, because you want to have the experience also. Okay, boys and girls, so let's listen to that song, the Farmer Plants a Seed, and goodbye. Let's go to the garden and plant with the farmer. The farmer plants the seeds. The farmer plants the seeds. Hi-ho, the dairy oh, the farmer plants the seeds. Sure do. Wow, look at that sun. The sun comes out to shine. The sun comes out to shine. On the seeds. Mm, looking good. The seeds begin to grow. The seeds begin to grow. Hi ho, the dairy! Oh, the seeds begin to grow. Wow! Look at the vegetables. Yee the vegetables are here. The vegetables are here. Hi ho, the dairy! Oh, the Let's go help the farmer. Much appreciated, miss. The farmer digs them up. The farmer digs them up. Hi ho, the dairy! Oh, the farmer digs them up. Sure do. Mmm, those vegetables look so tasty. Now it's time to eat. Yes, now it's time to eat. Hi ho, the dairy! Oh, yes, now it's time. boys and girls so now it's time for mathematics okay so let's sing that song it's mathematics time it's mathematics time everybody everywhere it's mathematics time and for mathematics we are talking about sets we are talking about sets okay boys and girls we are talking about more and less more and less Okay, boys and girls, so today I have some blocks here, okay? Let's count the blocks I have here. Yes, I have four blocks in my hand here. One, two, three, four, okay? So this is my left hand and this is my right hand. I'm going to take one block in my right hand. Now you are going to tell me which hand has more blocks. Is it my right hand or my left hand? My left hand has more blocks. Okay boys and girls? Yes. So today we are going to do, I'm going to tell you a little story. Okay? Now the name of this story is more and less. What is the name of this story? More and less. Now this story is about a girl and a boy. A little girl and a little boy. The girl name is Pat and the boy name is Roy. Now one day mommy sent Pat to the market to buy some vegetables. Okay? So Pat took her basket to the market and she bought some vegetables. So this is Pat's basket, okay? And if you look carefully, what she has in the basket, vegetables, right? Colorful vegetables. So now, when Pat reached to the market, she realized that her basket is too small. So, 
she bought the vegetables her mother asked her to buy and it was too much for her basket because if you look at Pat's basket the vegetables they are almost to the top okay and maybe she's afraid that it might fall out. So you know what she did? She met Roy at the market also. Now Roy had an empty basket. You see that? Okay. So now Pat decided that she is going to give Roy some of her vegetables to put in his, in, in his basket. Okay? So she decides she's going to give him one vegetable. And she decides she's going to give him the, this is the carrot. Okay? Now she has carrot, carayla, balanje or eggplant, and pepper. So she decides she's going to give him one carrot. So she gave him the carrot there. Now let's count any, how many fruits, how many vegetables, sorry, is remaining in Pat's basket. Let's count. One, two, three. Yes. So she has the okra the balanje and the pepper. Now, what, what, which vegetable is missing? The carrot. Okay, boys and girls. Now we have two sets there. We have two sets there. Now, one set has more and one set has less. Now, you are going to tell mommy or daddy which set has more and which set has less. Or you can say, who has more and who has less? Is it Pa or Roy? Okay, and when you're finished, you want to write the word more or less at the bottom. Okay, so you're going to write at the bottom here. If Pat has more, you want to write the word more there. Okay, and if Roy has less, you write the word less. Okay, boys and girls, so I enjoyed it, that little story. Okay, so the story is about more and less. Okay, and who has more vegetables? Pat. Pat has more vegetables. Let's say that together. Pat has more vegetables. Who has less vegetables? Roy has less vegetables. Let's say that together. Roy has less vegetables. Okay, boys and girls. So that is it for mathematics now we're going to look at our worksheet okay our worksheet for mathematics yes boys and girls so now it's time for work and on your worksheet you are going to put an x on the box in each row with the less flower on the box that has less flowers you're going to put an x okay so you count in order to know which one has less and which one has more, you have to count, okay? So you do that and then it has page two here. Put an X on the box in each row with more butterflies, wow. So you count and the set that has more, you put an X, okay? For example, this one, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. Five is more than four, so you put an X here. This one has more this set has more okay boys and girls i do that for the other sets there okay now that is it for mathematics today and i hope you enjoy doing your work okay remember not to give your parents or your elder siblings trouble do your work okay boys and girls remember our value is cooperation and you have to cooperate with your parents okay Bye-bye until tomorrow.